Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump Bombshell channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. After Sheena Shea claimed she had a bash with John Mayer, he is presently denying any close association with her. The Vanderpump Rules star has long discussed a set of experiences with the performer, which as of late reemerged. However, Apparently, they see things in an unexpected way, continue to peruse for additional subtleties. John Mayer denies any close association with Sheena Shea. Sheena Shea has no issues discussing the things that she has done from quite a while ago and the pleasant that she has had. She confessed to dating Eddie Cibrian, despite the fact that she later educated he was hitched. Moreover, she dated Jesse Metcalf and sports figures when she was in her 20s. As of late, the topic of trios came up on Vanderpump Decides and Sheena kidded that her body was once a wonderland. She was hinting that she and John Mayer had a previous meeting, which isn't new information for any individual who has followed her. Quite a while back, Sheena was gotten some information about spending time with Mayer and she played junior. She made sense of he had come into the eatery she worked at when he was dating Jennifer Aniston. Then, when he was single, and she was recently out of a relationship, they began hanging out. Presently, as per the sun, this is obviously totally bogus. An insider who's extremely near Mayer shared this. John has told a few group near him that he never connected with Sheena. He realizes that she has been telling individuals they attached well before the Vanderpump Rules episode broadcasted, and it's hit him up. He's extremely irritated by the whole thing and believes nothing should do with her. Referencing that Sheena had discussed this preceding joining Vanderpump in 2013, a video reemerged from 2009 of her discussing him. That was the point at which she related gathering John Mayer when he was dating Jennifer Aniston. Then, she meticulously described them getting to know one another and where they remained at that point. Per John's insider, this might have been created. Remain away. Furthermore, John Mayer and Sheena Shea were at a party as of late. Sheena's Bravo bud and John's best bud, Andy Cohen, turned out to be there too. Be that as it may, John did anything he humanly could to avoid Sheena. Sheena and John were even at a party quite recently where Andy Cohen likewise turned up, and he made an honest effort to keep away from Sheena. She was making an honest effort to converse with John and, surprisingly, who was similar to snap a photo with him, yet he killed her. He was giving his all to stay away from her throughout the evening. The supposed blowout occurred between Sheena, John, and Stacy, the barkeep from the slopes. Sheena and Stacy were living respectively, yet it seemed John preferred her all the more so that turned into an issue. It doesn't appear to be an issue for John Mayer as he has no clue about what Sheena is in any event referring to. Do you suppose Sheena is lying about what occurred with John, or does he not have any desire to concede they had a second? Tell us and watch Vanderpump Rules Tuesdays on Gravo. Rachel Rackle Levis is as yet managing the implications of her and Tom Sandoval's deceiving embarrassment a year after the fact. On Sunday's episode of her Rachel Denounces Any Kind of Authority digital broadcast on iHeartRadio, the previous Vanderpump Rules star, 29, opened up about various subjects, including attempting to grapple with the way that Sandoval, 40, supposedly recorded her without a cent during a private FaceTime call, and how he disregarded her own limits thusly. Levis has recorded a claim against Sandoval, and his ex Ariana Maddox regarding this supposed video. Individuals has contacted Sandoval's rep for input. It took me some time to handle Tom recording me without me knowing, Levis conceded during the episode, adding what is going on was so turbulent. The previous Bravo star said she believed herself to be in endurance mode, at that point and unfit to deal with what was going on. It was only after I had my one-on-one -on -one injury treatment meeting in the Glades that I had the option to truly begin depressurizing what he did and how he disregarded an individual limit, she said, referring to the psychological wellness office she remained soon after Scandival, where she looked for willful treatment. 
I let him know on the telephone in the wake of handling it. I don't feel that I will actually want to excuse you for this. Levis reviewed. And afterward, you know, after seven days, he's attempting to inspire me to recruit his legal counselor and fire my attorney. He had an oversight, and he said, The last thing that we want you to do right presently is denounce any and all authority. She guaranteed of their connection, which apparently enlivened the title of her digital broadcast. The truth star kidded that she even had dreams where she would call the performer and utilize his words against him. I did craftsmanship treatment, and I painted out that in discussion, and I had this dream of calling him and being like, I've denounced any and all authority and simply hang up the telephone and similar to. Do that power move, she said. What's more, my specialist was like, indeed, indeed, we won't do that. Later in the digital broadcast, Levis talked about the private recording that Sandoval supposedly recorded without her authorization. How he took that video without my assent was beyond my control. And there was nothing that I could do at that time, Levis guaranteed. However, at that point, I likewise recollect, similar to, indeed, I shouldn't have done anything with him at any rate. So then, at that point, it's a piece of self-responsibility, and excusing myself for that. Eventually, that is where there's such a lot of disgrace, and it yields torment, clearly, with an infringement she made sense of. In any case, for the most part disgrace, it's something confidential you don't believe individuals sh should be familiar with above all else, and afterwards second of all. It's simply a private second. Levis and Sandoval motivated the expression, Scandoval, in Walk 2023, when the two coasters were uncovered for having a months-in-length illicit relationship. At that point, Sandoval had been in a nine-year relationship with Maddox, Levis, Coster, and Companion. Maddox, 38, learned about the issue when she found the cozy FaceTime recording. The video being referred to was a FaceTime call among Tom and Reckle. It had been screen recorded by Tom. At the point when Ariana found it on Tom's telephone, she recorded it and sent it to herself, a source told individuals at that point. This brought about numerous cast individuals seeing the substance and Levis' lawyer conveying letters to her co-stars saying the video was recorded illicitly and without the consent of Levis. Anybody possessing the recording was approached to erase it from their telephones, the cloud, or some other way or technique where the recording might exist, per her lawyer. In February, Levis sued Sandoval and Maddox, prosecuting her previous Bravo coasters on claims of listening in, vengeance pornography, and attack of protection. As per the grievance, Levis affirmed that she was a survivor of the ruthless and deceptive way of behaving of a more seasoned man who shot physically unequivocal recordings without her insight or assent. She further guaranteed that the accounts were circulated, scattered, and examined freely by a hated lady, Maddox, looking for retaliation. She said the occasions drove her to look for help in an office while Bravo development and the cast drained the interest her abrasion had crested. Levis whose takeoff from Vanderpump Rules was affirmed in August 2023. Likewise guaranteed she experienced peacefully because of the aftermath while different gatherings associated with Scandival procured. Thanks for watching if you liked this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.